not quite getting it right. I have not washed my hair today, so it's gone a bit wonky. So I'm just going to pretend that it's fine. It's fine. Yes, how's everyone been? It is Easter Day today, if you celebrate that sort of thing. Or even if you don't, it's still Easter. It doesn't really make any difference. I've, I've celebrated it by eating some chocolate. And I had a veggie burger and some stuff. That's what I had today. It's basically the same as every other day because that's really what I do every day. Every day, every day, I eat chocolate. And sometimes I eat veggie burgers. I've driven one person away. I had one person and I've got no people. But that's fine, whatever. So today, today is two days before my birthday. And I'm like, no, I don't like birthdays. Birthdays are not my thing. I've spent the last half an hour maybe more watching um i found out that if you put the shining a film uh backwards and forwards at the same time apparently stuff happened so i've been watching the first half the first 30 minutes the, the last 30 minutes at the same time forward and backwards and um didn't really well uh, they sort of ran out of steam and then they just had them one next to each other after that because I think they forgot to finish it. I think there was a version that was released theatrically, but that is not available on the internet at the moment, it turns out. But it was spooky though, in a really strange way, because it was just unnerving. It's just because the music's backwards. And it's just like it's like chills were going through me, but there wasn't actually anything that was really particularly notable. It was just interesting. I don't think it really works. Uh, the same way that if you've ever seen, um, if you ever played Dark Side of the Moon when you're watching um, Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz is one of those things. When I was doing driving, I did a load of driving tests all in a row and I was a little bit self because I was also doing loads of exams and all sorts of stuff. Hello. And the Wizard of Oz is something that I completely forgot during my possibly fifth, Fifth or six, sorry, spitting out myself. Fifth or sixth driving test. I couldn't remember what. I, it's just, I had a conversation with our driving instructor about that film. What was that film with the munchkins and everything? And neither of us could remember it. We just sort of went blank, which was probably boding not very well because I had the. We drove to the test center. I had the test. Uh, and then I said to the driving instructor, the actual person that was examining me afterwards, oh, I know what was happening. The driving instructor that I had was sitting in the back as a passenger because apparently I suffer from road rage is what the, because I'd had four or five different tests by that point. And the, one of the driving instructors that was just testing me decided that there was something wrong with me and that I needed to have supervision so that they could see what was, there was nothing. It was fine. He was just weird because I think he failed me one time and I got out of the car and I went, and I went, I did, he said, Miss Harris. And I'm just like, so I got out of the car and went towards because I knew he was going to fail me. So apparently that means that I've got a terrible attitude and I've got road rage. So the next time my driving instructor came with me. Actually, he probably came with me that time too. Anyway, I had lots of driving tests and I can't remember. This is all a bit of a meander to say that I was so worked up I couldn't remember what Wizard of Oz was at all. Yeah, and um, yeah, so... That was my, I did eventually pass and I kissed the driving instructor, the driving test person on the mouth afterwards. He'd already passed me. So it wasn't because I kissed, it was because, but I actually had a terrible stomach ache that day. So probably I passed on some sort of terrible bug to him. So it wasn't really much of it. And he said something like, oh, this is my last driving test as well. I'm retiring today. So it was like, all right. So my leg hurts. I don't know what's happening. I think I've got some sort of cramp here. So yeah, I don't know. Anyway, The Shining. Red rum, red rum. This is Tony. Do you like Tony? Red rum. Didn't have a name before, but obviously he's Tony. Obviously he's Tony. He's a little boy that lives in my mouth. <laughs> That's the creepy part of The Shining. Little boy that lives in my mouth. What are you talking about, Danny? That's just spooky and weird. Red drum. It's just, I need to repaint that. It's getting a little bit chipped. His hair's falling off. Yeah, probably because I've just been <laughs> picking at his hair. Yeah, anyway, so this is Easter Day. It's two days before my birthday. Two days. 
and I'm 150,000 million years old. That's how old I am. Uh, something works said, um, I was like, oh, I'm feeling terrible. It's my birthday. And they said, oh, I felt like that until, but you know, you don't want to feel bad about your birthday. It's like, and then they said, oh, I had a significant birthday. And that's the only time I felt bad. And I'm like, yeah, hmm. well, there you go. Uh, it's, she said, how old are you? And I said, uh, yeah. She's like, you're one of those. I, yes, I don't like to talk about it. It's awful. Also, one of the other things I've been doing is I've looked up property online. I probably said this last week because I've been looking it up for weeks and weeks and weeks. But it's like, oh, look at that. £10,000, £11,000. I could get somewhere in Italy or France. And it, it's it's falling apart. But if I just, it, I was thinking maybe I could get there, and I could put, make a tent and go in the corner of the house in a tent while I refurbish it. But on my own, it would probably, they're all remote places in the middle of nowhere. And also, I don't have the money to pay for them at the moment. But uh, yeah, it, ideally, if it wasn't the times that we're living in and all the things that mean that I can't possibly do this. Hello from North Carolina. And oh, how, hello to North Carolina. Obviously, I'm not in North Carolina. Yeah, all the things that I can't do. Yeah, it's not practical. But I'm still like, so I was talking to my mum about it on uh, Messenger and she's like, oh, this and that. And this is the reason you can't do that. It's like, stop destroying my dream. It's never going to happen anyway. Let me dream. Let me pretend that this could happen. There's so many reasons why it can't, but let me pretend. But there are very spooky houses. There's one that was just all spiders. It was good to see you too. It was just spiders webs. It was a place in France and they, for some reason, took pictures of the spiders webs. And they weren't little spiders webs. There was a creepy window that was completely covered, like a window with, with, with lace curtains. I thought, was that lace curtains? What pretty lace curtains? It wasn't lace curtains, it was spiders webs. Just sort of garlanded all on it. And another one that had a doll's house, just a doll's house, in just had a, a one chair and one tiny table and wooden panelling and a doll's house, just sort of on a stool, looking really, really creepy. I don't know whether you've seen that film with, um, what was it? Uh, not inheritance the the one with the creepy stuff that one yeah anyway there's some a creep yeah you know the one with the with the dolls houses that one yeah i just oh my legs gone crampy that's terrible i'm gonna sit here and come oh fidgeting somebody told me off the other day for oh ah, i'm like this is just me it's just my natural demeanor is a little bit on edge at all times except when i'm just like so maybe it's because I've been sitting on the sofa all weekend. <laughs> That's why my legs are hurting. And also why I'm like, yee, lots of energy to be had. But I'm also like, ah, somebody said, because I've been doing um, a few online gigs, and somebody that, uh, the pear shaped ones, uh, said, oh, let me know if you've got any any more ideas so you can come on again. I've got, I've got no ideas. I'm completely out of ideas. There's, it's my head is just like a vacuum. There's just like an empty cabin where a head should be. And he's like, yeah, that's the sort of thing we're looking for. So that was fine. Um, no, so I, I don't know. I've got to come up with some ideas, but I'll be older on Wednesday. Well, like every single second that you live in, you're older unless you, unless you're not. And then you, that's the end of that. But um, I'll be, oh, my stomach's rumbling. I will be older in terms of years by Wednesday. And so I'll be like, well, that's the end of that bit. Yeah, it's just like, don't think about it. Don't think about the passing of the minutes and the hours. Don't think about it. Oh, uh, memento mori. Ah, scary. It is scary. But um, yeah, you've got to think about it, haven't you? Because, you know, if you don't think about it, then you won't do anything. And that's no good. And then you go, ah, that's the end. But if you think about it, then at least you will have been doing something even if the something is panicking and going, wow, no, the sky is falling, the sky is that's something, isn't it? The oldest, yeah, exactly, the oldest picture of me is the youngest picture of me. Very, very good. Yes, very philosophical. Philosophical, that is. So philosophical. Like, oh, I made a little song up. I, I just, I had, I haven't got it now because I had it, but I had a jar of peanut butter marmite. It's one of those things. I like it. 
Uh, but I didn't want to open it because it had a little seal that I was making a little drum with the other day. And I was waiting, waiting. I was making my breakfast and I was going, I can't even remember what the jingle was, but I was making a little jingle. Doing power toy. better than that I can't remember what it was now I've forgotten I've forgotten what the words were and I've forgotten what the tip was that's not even the tune I can't remember it did have a tune I can't remember the tune I did record it on my phone but I'm using my phone so I can't get it ah oh, my legs completely cramped up anyway it had a proper proper Anyway, I don't know. I've been doing family history as well because it turns out that you've got free access to family history on one of the sites this weekend. So I've been looking things up and I found that possibly one of my great-great-grandfathers might not have been my great-great-grandfather because he had two marriages and I don't even know whether it was the right person anyway. I never really got to the grips because he one of them came to... Uh, Wales and from Stoke-on-Trent, Staffordshire area and we're not sure who his father was because there's only one person that there's a few people that could be but there's nobody with his surname so his surname must have changed his name was Mayers and there's one some somebody called Mayer that had somebody that had his first name Thomas Mayer as a child and then he came so we're thinking oh and there's other spellings of it like M A. R E M I E R M E. It's loads of millions of different spellings, so it's a bit confusing. Anyway, couldn't get any further back, and there's no real because we got the DNA stuff. There's no real DNA evidence of any further back than this Thomas Mayers that came to Abersucken, which is the area where I lived. Duh, don't live there now. And so we were like, "Ooh, this is very confusing." I was anyway, and I know that there's a distant relative that. Had, traced the whole family from that yeah, he made a big family tree from thomas mayer's downwards so he knows everybody that came afterwards and his all these people all over the world from this millions of people led yes forwards and backwards at the same time it's got it is it was preposterous anyway he got all the from that person but he never just he never went any further back there was, he said he did, well, he wasn't interested. He said, but he never went further, and he found some stuff, and he shared all the all the people that are alive and all the people that have lived since eighteen hundred that are related to this Thomas Mayers. But he said he didn't know anything about him beforehand, or if he did, he wasn't going to tell us. Anyway, I used this service this week, and and I found that if it's the right person, then this Thomas Mayers' father had got married twice. So he got married to somebody called Hannah, who's what it says on the on the the birth details but she doesn't seem to have been alive when he was christened so i don't know what's happening really because he was married to somebody a month before this person was um i don't even it was just registered a month before this person was registered he wasn't married to hannah anymore he married to somebody called fanny salt that's the name of the person fanny salt and um she was a widow and he was a widower and she'd been married before to somebody called Thomas Salt who had also been married before. He was a widow. He was an inholder when he married, when she, they married, which was in 1787. And then they possibly had one child called Thomas Salt who I don't know what happened to him. And then 20 years later, she was still a young woman. She was only about 1920 when she got married the first time. And she possibly was the mother of Thomas Mayers, or possibly she wasn't. We don't know whether it, it maybe Thomas Salt was the father, and she got married to Mr. Mayers, or Mr. Mayers had a wife that wasn't there anymore, and and so we I don't know who's there's four possible marriages, so who knows whether my ancestor her, her original her maiden name her name before she got married to Mr. Salt was. Newbold, so she's Fanny Newbold Salt Mayers, and yeah, and she also had with the Thomas Mayers that she did marry. I know that I've traced that she had another child called Edward 
Edward Newbold Mayers, who was put in a debtor's prison because the pottery business he had with his nephew, not sure whose son the nephew was, uh, completely went bankrupt and he got put into uh, the debtor's prison. This, the one that's all mentioned in the Dickens in uh, Hard Times and all that in, uh, not Hard Times, the other one. Uh, no, I can't remember. Uh, Little Dorrit, that's it. The one in Little Dorrit, he was there. So one of my uncles, great, 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 great grand uncles, maybe, don't know whether he was, I don't know how he was, if at all, because I don't even know whether these are the right people. Anyway, Fanny Salt is probably the operative thing there. I also found a Mary Hoare, H-O-A-R, that was H-O-A-R. This is like the, that's a, that's a berry, isn't it? Or, or yeah, or frost or, yeah. Anyway, and yeah. So there's lots of interesting names in my family tree. Uh, yeah. And so that's what I've been doing this weekend. Yes, exactly. How far back? It doesn't matter. Just, yes. Oh, if you, if you go far, far, far back, we're all related. We are all related if you go further, further back. But this is only just before 1800. And that's within the realms of, I mean, I found other ancestors that are quite easy to trace before that. But most of them, like my Daniel Jacob, who was born sometime between 1806 and 18. 12 but he's got different dates and places on the on the uh census no idea what happened to him before that no no birth record he's just on the set so he doesn't really appear until he gets married in the 1830s by which time he's 20 or 30 and so i'm like eh, i don't know whether that's his name really because i can't find him before that don't know don't know where he's from could be anywhere could be anywhere we're all related to a pub. Oh, that sounds like the name of a beer. Yes, yeah, see, it's the. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the. Um, the different. Just that way. Um, they're going to be that way, aren't they? Yeah. I'm looking at all the different. Is something that way? I, I'm not sure. I'm all turned around. Anyway, the comments, whichever way they are, and they're confusing me because I'm reading them. So this is good. I'm possibly going to do a live show in Edinburgh. I'm not going to go to Edinburgh, but I'm possibly going to do a show either recorded. Hello. Meow meow. It's um, probably the Welsh show I'm going to redo. I'm either going to do it a mixture of live and recorded or all recorded, but I've got to do that. So, oh, thank you very much, JV507. Nice to have you still here. There's a lot of people come and gone since then. I think I've got hay fever coming and going, going backwards and forwards here. Which is the name? Forward and backward, forward and backward. That's the name of the video that I've put the stream. And I am going back and forward. You're doing, oh, yes, that sounds nice, Andy Calloway. I'm feeling a bit peculiar because of the, um, uh, just, I don't know. It's apparently nice to still be here. Yeah, nice for you to be here. Nice to see you here. Not for you. It's nice for you to be here. No, that sounds like, wow, I'm saying it's nice for you to, uh. <laughs> Anyway, it's great. Yeah, ah, uh, what? <laughs> Thank you. Um, that's interesting. Thank you. <laughs> little bit disturbing, but it's a little bit weird. Yes, a little bit weird to have a t-shirt with my face on it. I did see a thing with Brian Blessed had a t-shirt of a, a student that had a picture of him. He, a student had a picture of Brian Blessed riding a Henry the Hoover on the front of a, um, a brochure. And then Brian Blessed got a picture of the student on a Hoover wearing the Brian Blessed t-shirt this is yeah anyway that's interesting yeah exactly well i'm not going to keon i'm not going to edinburgh because I still can't go there i'm just going to do it on the internet so everyone can see it yeah it's you it's you yeah there is um scott yeah what i don't know what's happening anyway i'm not going to actually be in edinburgh i'm going to do a show for the fringe festival but not, I don't know what's going on with the, the comments. I'm just going to let you talk for amongst yourself for a little while because I'm getting a bit distracted. Well, as, as I am always. Uh, okay, I'm confused. Yeah. So happy birthday to me on Tuesday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Fringe online, exactly. So I'm not sure how that's really going to work. And possibly I'm going to put these streams... This would be an idea. Maybe I'll do one of these streams every day for the the run of the Fringe Festival, where it would be, and I'll do a sort of impro show. 
So every day I'll do some sort of thing and maybe I'll list that and I'll just, uh, any, every day at maybe seven o'clock. What's a good time? What's a good time to do a show? What's a good time that I do the show and everybody in the world is available? No time, because there is no time. So maybe uh, 10 o'clock in the morning here would be in the middle of the night for a lot of people. But no, so 10 o'clock at night would be early in the morning. I don't know, really. Yeah, exactly. Danger. Water. That's what I'm going to do. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yes, forever, Terry, forever. And, um, yeah, oh, another thing, Baby Shark. I was listening to Baby Shark for some reason, because it's everywhere, and I was watching uh, something about um, dubbing. There's something on YouTube about dubbing things over. And uh, there was a thing about how uh, the voice in um, South Pacific, all the voices, and the person that's singing the um, happy talkie talkie, her voice is dubbed by some. She actually was in Flower Drum Song too. She's African American, I found out. And she's playing Chinese person in one and uh, a South Pacific woman in the other, but she's African American. Um, but she, she's playing... Um, yeah, so she's singing Happy Talkie Talkie, but she's not singing Happy Talkie. And there's a woman in, on the side going like this. And all I could think, because this was the thing about dubbing, is what if you dub Baby Shark onto Happy Talkie Talkie? That would be funny. Funny to me. Funny to nobody else. Baby Shark. Happy Talkie Talkie. Anyway. Yeah. Or you could dub the Captain Sensible version of talk, Happy Talky Talky coming from um, the mouth of Mary. Yeah, that would be interesting. To me, to nobody else. Anyway, forwards and backwards. I feel really strange today. I don't know what it is. It's atmospherics or something. Because apparently it's going to snow tomorrow in April. I know. I don't think. I. It was like, what? Surely not. The Daily Express is obsessed. No, I'm not going to sing the sharp song. The shark song, not the sharp song. Um, the Daily Express is absolutely obsessed with snow. So when my mum said it's going to snow tomorrow, I said, is that from the Daily Express? Apparently no, it's from the BBC, which is apparently a re reputable source, a reputable source. A reputable? Re reputable. Anyway, it's a source and it's not to be sniffed at. Is it actually going to snow tomorrow? No, that's really strange. I'm not sure it is, but apparently snow so it might snow on my birthday i might have a christmasy birthday yeah a christmasy christmasy Chris. what's about the bird is the word i don't know um yeah i can hear people next door just oh bye bye so oh, oh are you yeah why are you saying bye bye just because you've got to go somewhere or have i said something offensive possibly have ah, i can't remember saying anything at all I'm just Burbling, as is my usual thing. Merry Easter. Yeah, no, no good weather for landing. No. And also, apple tree fell down. A couple of, oh, have, have a nice dinner, Scott. Sorry. Um, apple tree fell down a couple of years ago because the ivy, there's a thing where uh, you can see it. It's like super strength or something. I've got, and I'm dragging a tree across because the tree fell down because there was ivy. There's another one. There's another video I've got where I'm cutting into the ivy and there's all red stuff coming out and it's like what on earth is happening anyway that tree fell down ages ago and i dragged it to the side it's all covered in brambles my garden's in a complete mess but i went into the garden yesterday and started clearing the brambles and there's a big hole that i think the foxes must have dug that i'm like what the they seem to have been trying to dig under the wall and uh that was a bit disturbing but it's really messy in there anyway this apple tree fell down and earlier in the in the um, winter, that's the name of it. In the winter, there seemed to be another tree fell down, like a branch, and it was like, oh no, that branch fell down. It covered the whole garden. It just fell down like a dead branch. But it was a good story, very spooky. Anyway, this tree that looked like a dead branch has started to get bla blossom on it. Blossom, blossom, blossom on it. And it's like, is that apple blossom? Is that from the apple tree? And I looked, I looked, and there's a whole. I don't know whether you can see it. It's because I might make a video about the whole thing. Ooh, that's spooky. Spoo face. Um, 
Is it still light now? It's gone dark. I thought it would be light out because it was light when I checked. It's gone dark. Anyway, I'll put video off of it. Anyway, this um, apple tree. It must be an apple tree. It must be that apple tree because like, and, and, and I'm looking at a different tree and it seems to have sort of bound itself around the tree. What's the story of that? It's, I don't know. That was here when I got here. It's a uh, apple tree. It's like twisting itself around this other tree and this branch has got blossom all over it. That's just, that's just strange. It's like, uh, like the apple trees decided to, to be like the ivy. It's like, well, I can't be the ivy. I will become the ivy. Yeah. Maybe it's mutated, mutated, mutated apple tree. But I don't think there's going to be any uh that vintage wallpaper might be seen before i know i've been one of the things one of the spooky houses online that i've been looking at had very similar wallpaper and i was like oh. <laughs> in france so it's like Whoa, it's following me it's gonna follow me yeah so even though i want to go to france or italy i don't think it's gonna happen it's too expensive really it's not expensive it's too expensive to do the other i mean the houses are cheap but then when i get there the making the house livable is going to be very expensive because they're like falling apart but um i could do that i suppose oh my goodness me anyway maybe the project for because i've got two weeks off i'm going to maybe do something in the garden i'm feeling very jealous of lots of people though doing stuff and seeing stuff and and, and i saw somebody post that they were in some article about all the how comedy online has changed because of the uh, pandemic thingy, pan thingy, what's it? You're not supposed to say that in these videos because you get penalised, don't you? And But uh, the thing, because of the, the whole thing, that it's changed and it's the, the whole nature of comedy has changed. And I was like, oh, no, because I haven't really done much comedy during the lockdown really i haven't really done a, enough i've done some but not enough and nobody's noticed me anyway and i'm feeling a bit sort of who cares nobody cares about me blah it's all really yeah I'm feeling very self <sighs> yeah very sorry for myself yeah 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 exactly but um but they're all like oh look at this look at all these people doing all this comedy and it's so new and different. I'm like, ah, oh, because I've been like doing this for like 15 years now. Nobody's paid a blind bit of notice of it. And then I've had a bit of a sort of like, ugh, what's the point? And then everyone's like, no, we're going to do it. You missed the boat. It's like, I didn't miss the boat. I bought on the boat. I was here ages ago. You missed the boat. It's like you got on a different boat. I was already all the way across the boat. Sailed. I was on the boat. I, I got off the boat. I was on the other side. What, what, what? This is, you're on the 25th millionth boat. I was on the 25th millionth boat. What? I was on the first boat. Or at least the second or the third boat. Maybe not the first boat. If I was on the first boat, I probably would have been noticed ages ago. But the, those people, those people that were on the first boat, who even remembers who they are anymore? But I was on the second boat. And nobody even paid any attention to that at all. And now the way way boat down the line loads of boats down the line and people are like oh it's new and innovative it's not it's not new and innovative you're just piggybacking off me shoulders of giants ah i'm a giant no that's not because i was already piggybacking off other people and i didn't get anywhere with it really yes exactly exactly that was the boat that i got on and it it, it, it ran adrift and it blocked the canal for everybody else could get past and help it back again and they're like yeah we see ya and i'm like no i blocked the canal oh that sounds painful <laughs> oh I'm feeling sorry for yourself isn't it nobody cares to nobody gives a flying hoot mm -hmm. mixing your metaphors nobody cares i know they don't but i'm feeling sorry for myself and so it's my party and i'll cry if i want to yes but uh i should have done more content i should have made loads more content i made a little bit i mean i made um i made the uh the thing with the puppets and i made the puppets and i made the the 
I made some things. I didn't make enough. I know I, I squandered my opportunity. I could have done so much more. I should have done something every day. And then if I'd done something every day, then at least two things would have been worth seeing. I'm just like, oh, and now I've got no ideas at all. I'm just completely bereft of ideas. Yeah. I just need to come up with some more ideas. Maybe I'll feel, maybe the next part of my life after my birthday will be so filled with ideas. I'll have so many ideas. They're just bursting out of me. Bursting, bursting, bursting. Yeah, like alien. Yeah, maybe. Could I boil down the best bits of quarantine? Maybe. It's too late now, isn't it? Everybody's done with that. Nobody cares anymore. I missed it big time. I missed the last boat out of this. Last boat out of Dodge. Mix your metaphors again. Metaphors? Metaphors? I can't even speak. No wonder I can't come up with any ideas. Oh, my goodness me. So maybe I'll think of something. And maybe I won't. And I probably won't. And we'll... <sighs> Easter's nearly over now and then it's my birthday and then my birthday will be over and then it'll be Christmas and then Christmas will be over and then it'll be my birthday again and then my birthday will be over and then it'll be Christmas again it's just a, a rolling circle of cycle of circles <gasps> the end anyway I should probably go now that I've worn myself out you, but if you play this forwards and backwards at the same time maybe something happens Maybe it'll be like, oh, that's creepy. Play it forwards and backwards at the same time, why don't you? And see what a difference it makes. No difference. No difference. It'll be exactly the same. Exactly the same both ways. It probably is danger or trick to it. It probably is. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna go now and uh, leave you to it. And thank you very much for joining me. And I'll see you presently. Maybe I'll do a birthday uh, video. Or maybe I won't. Who can tell? See you then. Bye.